Hi Cancer, thanks for showing up to watch your video. It's for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And what this video is gonna be about this go around is um, we're going to look at your general energies, okay? For the month of February, I'm sorry, I made myself a list of all the things I'm gonna ask Spirit for you. Um, okay, so what does it look like overall? What are the challenges you're gonna face? What vibes are you putting out there? And then we're gonna look at a specific theme or goal for you to work on throughout the month to get you kind of back on the right track to feeling good, to be like, you know, having the happiest life ever, because that's the whole point of doing tarot readings. I don't know if, I, if any of you have ever read my mission statement, that's at literally my plan to make the world better one tarot reading at a time. Because the more happy people that are like doing the right thing with their life, there are in the world, the more happy people they're going to be because positivity breeds positivity, just like negativity breeds negativity. Anyway, we're getting off track. My apologies. Um, so we're going to look at areas of career, work, finance. We're going to look at your love life for single and coupled cancers. And then we're going to look at like your personal life, like your friendships, your growth and development areas, maybe your emotional or spiritual growth. We'll just see whatever way the wind blows us. And then we're going to look at a crystal of the month that'll help you kind of get through the month if you're into crystals. If you're not, skip that part, whatever. But for those of you who follow me like on Facebook, you'd know I'm like obsessed with crystals and I really do think they help. So here we go. I actually just a few days ago crashed my car and I swear it's because I took the hematite out of it. I haven't crashed in the winter in fucking years and I'm a bad, bad driver. And like my friends will attest to this. They're like, oh my gosh, that was so close. Like, you almost killed us. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't because we have the hematite in the car. <laughs> I know that's why I crashed. Alhamdulillah, thank you to God. Like, we were safe. It was fine. But, you know, <laughs> it's because I took my crystal out of the car. Anyway. <laughs> February for Cancer. What does it look like? This is what it looks like overall. You're making tough decisions and like you're saying no when you have to. You're doing the right thing. You're doing everything for your highest good. So that's fantastic. Although you might be stuffing your emotions a little bit, which isn't actually that big of a deal in February. And this might be a water sign kind of thing because Pisces has this as well. Um, but just know like if by the time you get to the end of February, if you haven't dealt with some of these emotions that you're repressing, it might help you get through the beginning part, but then it might come back to bite you later in the year. So, um, spoiler alert, this crystal that you have for the month of February is actually going to help you a lot if you're grieving or if you have emotions that are hard to handle. So, Oh, <laughs> okay. So that's kind of what's going on for you over month, over this month in general, but you're making good decisions despite all of this. Okay. So you're like, you're surviving. It's like, I just heard that, um, Destiny's Child song. I'm a survivor. I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. That's you. It's totally you. And it's a conscious decision to be that way. So good for you. Okay. Challenges that you're going to face in general. One is indecision. I can tell you that. Because when cards, for, I don't know, I don't know if any of you read tarot, but um, if you might have seen in the tarot lessons playlist I have, when cards flip out and then they flip back, that means indecision in general. But what's magical about what happened with yours right now is the card that flipped out and flipped back was the Seven of Cups. I don't know what's important to me. I don't know what I want. I don't know which direction to go. You know, um, but I'm making good decisions in the moment. At least for the next five weeks, day to day, I'm just like, okay, get through this day, get through this day, and maybe stuffing the shit that I can't deal with yet. But emotionally, you're going to have to come to terms with making some decisions at some point in the month of February is basically what they're saying. So that's a challenge for you, but you can get through it. Now, the vibes that you're putting out there for other people is um, that you do know what you want. So at least other people aren't going to lose faith in you and in your abilities. Like you seem very smart. You're, um, other people are viewing you as like a really good communicator. Like, like you've got shit handled, even if you don't feel that way. But I do feel like 
you kind of do feel that way. I don't see any problems like with pentacles here yet, being in reverse or anything like that. You just, you're not getting necessarily what you want because you don't know what you want. And um, other people can't read what you want either because you're not putting those vibes out there as though you even know. Does that make sense? So that would be something that we want to work on. That would be um, a goal to work on. So speaking of that, our area of focus um, and even spirit is like, y'all have me so confused because <laughs> you have no clue right now. And so they're like, okay, where, where can we start? For the majority, and that's the problem with doing um, general reading sometimes, is there's so many of you with your own unique circumstances, but for the majority of cancers, where can they start? They say reflect on pride and ego, and where is that coming from in regards to your fear, okay? Like, what kind of fears do you have? Because this is orange, okay? So this is related to your fear chakra, your sacral chakra. And so they're saying, you know, like, negative pride often does more harm than good, Okay. So it's going to make you suffer in your relationships. And so they're saying, like, where are you losing power? Like, where are you giving that away because of false pride? You know, like, where could you feel more confident? Why are you acting certain ways because of things that, like, don't even make sense? Because it's poisoning your spirit, okay? Like, for a good example is if you're refusing to accept help from somebody, okay, don't do that because it's not helping you. Like, it would help you and the other person if you just allowed them to do it because they feel like they did a good task, and now you're also getting the help. So, like, looking at your pride and your ego and the reason why you say no to things or, or why you act certain ways, that's kind of where you want to start reflecting and see what you can let go. Like, what is the actual root of things here and what actually matters? And does my pride matter that much in regards to, you know, this situation or this thing that I'm dealing with. So in general, that's kind of the theme for you for the month of February. So now let's get into the specifics and see what work, career, and finance are like for you in the month of February in general. And it says you might not have any like new ideas, but that's okay because um, if you feel like you're getting this new idea and it's like, oh, too good to be true, the answer is in the month of February, it probably is too good to be true. So a good example, um, I'm always looking out for my sister who is a cancer and she wants to open her own salon. So I look and I'm looking for something else on Craigslist, but I come across this building that used to be a salon. So I send it to her and she was like, actually that building's cursed. Businesses never last there, but thank you. You know, but it wasn't, so it wasn't this energy of like reflecting on pride and ego, like, oh, your ideas suck. Like I have to find it myself. Cause then, you know, like that's how I'm achieving and, and doing one for myself. No, it was more like, um, like if it sounds too good to be true, like the rent is really cheap and it's already like furnished and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's because it is too good to be true. <laughs> I didn't know that cause I was not familiar with the building, but she is in the neighborhood and whatever. Okay. So just a little anecdote to put it into context. Um, what kind of challenges are you facing? And they say letting go of old habits, letting things fall apart that need to, letting go of things that we need to let go of in the month of February. And this could be um, ways we think about things. It could be ways that we do our job. Maybe you always do things a certain way and it's like, Somebody comes and they give you a different way and it doesn't seem too good to be true. You're like pushing back on it. You're like, nope, this is the way I always do things. This is the way it always works. But that might actually be better for you. So this is kind of weird because it's like, on the one hand, if something seems really good, it's probably not good. But then if you're fighting something because you just don't want to or it's just not like your idea or um, it just doesn't seem like something that would make your life better, it might actually. So simultaneously say no to things, but be open to things you haven't necessarily tried or you don't know anything about. Does that make sense? Because you have like this difficult balance to achieve. Oh man, I'm sorry, Cancers. That's hard. That's really, really hard. Um, what kind of vibes are you putting out in regards to career and work? And they're like, again, like you might, people might sense that you're dealing with some emotional stuff and you're not speaking about it. But I think everybody around you is okay and supportive of, of that. Like either they know that you just lost a family member or either they know that you just like, um, I'll bring up my sister again because she's a cancer. We lost our mom last month right before Christmas. So, you know, like I think people at work kind of know 
Like, hey, you might be emotional some days. You probably don't want to talk about your mom. Or maybe you went through a breakup. Because 2017 was all about endings and getting rid of things that um, we weren't going to carry into our wish year of 2018. Okay? But, but some of us, especially water signs and cancers, really, really, really cancers, are taking their grief and their sadness and they're carrying it into this new year. And that's okay because those feelings are real. Okay, and those feelings are yours and you deserve to be able to grieve and process these things the way um, that works for you. Okay, because you're a very internal person and I think the people around you, they kind of know that. But um, at the same time, we can't let that be like entirely encompassing our month of February. You also have to start progressing towards like you know, new ventures and having these ideas and following them through. You can't just like totally avoid them in order to be productive though either. So maybe like a little bit of examining our feelings every day would be good, but you don't necessarily have to talk to people about it at work. It's just that they understand and they're there if that's, you know, your outlet. But other people and your friends and stuff, they can tell that you're, you're stuffing things a little bit. And so it seems as though they're going to be patient with you. Um, and you can do this. You definitely can, but just don't do it for too long or too much. Does that make sense? This month for you is all about balance. Now, um, your overall goal or area of focus in regards to your work life, your career, your finance is to be reliant upon yourself. So, um, you know, for, especially for business owners and things like that, it's like you're going to create your own destiny this month and it's a very Capricorn new moon energy. So if you're watching this previous to um, February 1st, like after January 31st, this won't apply. But um, that new moon energy is all about setting things up in a financial way, like setting up new work routines, that sort of a thing that will carry us forward and help us to manifest a lot more abundance in the year of 2018. So, um, Basically, regardless of whether this is before January 31st that you're watching this video or afterwards, you want to think about, um, you know, who are you depending on? Should you be relying on yourself more? Are you relying on other people? Um, and especially with all of this water here, especially in regards to that inner stuff that you were stuffing, okay? And remember that the Hermit card is a Cancer card. Now, we haven't had that card yet, but we did have the Queen of Cups. And then this particular deck, she's taking those emotions and she's like pregnant with them. And it's causing a storm in the background behind her. So until she kind of like bursts some of those feelings out... Um, that storm isn't going to fade away. It's just going to come closer and then it'll kind of fuck her life up a little bit. So this is your opportunity to get in the boat where your water is and use your intuition, okay? Use um, what you know and your feelings and process that. But then as you're doing it, trying, like even if you're grieving, because I feel like a lot of cancers are, whether that's, you know, from a death or from a relationship or from a disappointment from a friend or a sibling or whatever, or a work thing, because this is in our career sector, we need to make these tiny wishes of all of the things that we want. Because once we're dealing with our emotions, even though it's a little uneasy, you know, whether we're dealing with fears and opening our own business or, um, whether um, we're having conflicts at work with, you know, people that we work with or whatever it is for you, we have to make these positive affirmations and make these wishes because that's how we're going to head towards them. But we're not going to get there very fast if our emotions or our waters are really choppy. So dealing with those little by little. So ultimately, um, what this says is healing is a solo endeavor and we need, but we do need support during this process, Right. So, um, but ultimately, the self-empowerment comes from within us, okay? We can talk to our friends, we can vent to them, they can give us good advice, but we have to hold ourselves accountable for, like, the actual work and change that we do in our life in order to, like, make ourselves calm and, like, to identify what needs to change, what needs to happen, how am I going to get there? So your goal or focus, your task is to identify and modify the ways that you can release personal responsibility for things that maybe you're trying to take too much on and give those things to other people. So as a Cancer, you're kind of like a sponge sometimes taking on other people's emotions. You need to know, um, and this is like that Five of Swords energy when it's like, okay, the general theme for the month is figuring out what to do for our highest good. We need to know when to say, okay, you know what? That's your shit. 
like I have compassion for you, but I don't need to have empathy for you right now. There's a difference between compassion and empathy. I feel sad for you, but I don't need to also take on your feelings because I have my own feelings that I'm harboring all by myself. You know, and so that's what you got to kind of do with your work stuff, with your career stuff, you, with your finances. You've got to decide, okay, like what can I pass off here? What is too much? And then what needs to be me? Because maybe in certain ways there are things that you need to be more self-reliant on, but then in other ways, like things that are totally don't need to be your responsibility and you're taking them on. So it's like the Maslow's hierarchy of needs pyramid. Um, you're at the bottom here with the red, okay, with our root chakra. So like if you don't deal with this, none of these other blessings are going to come. Like feeling good about yourself, like having more money, like enjoying your time. That's going to be really challenging until this is dealt with in the workplace or in that financial sector of your life. So sorry for that long tangent. But that was important, I guess, for somebody. Okay, moving on to your love life. Single cancers. What do we have in general for love in February? Um, you might still be kind of single, but there will be people around you, which is interesting. You very well could meet your forever person this month. or um, And for some of you, you'll probably meet them at work or like making a financial transaction. So that's interesting. Um, now, is that for the majority? No. The majority of you will be single, but that's a specific message for one or two people that are watching this. Um, but what they're saying is, you know, that's okay if you're being single because you have so much shit going on with like your day-to-day -day routines and then your emotions and your finances this month that, that it's fine. It might be too much to take on at this point in time. Now, for those of you who are coupled, what can you expect in the month of February in general? And they say you might be a little bit defensive. Um, but that's okay because you're actually stronger than you think you are. <laughs> and so I assume this is probably because your partner is nagging you about your emotions, but let's see exactly what that's about. And they're saying just like the speed at which you're doing things. It's that you want to do them right. You want to have tact. You want to be successful. You want to make sure that you're building a strong foundation again. And so you're doing things right. That's okay if you take on this defensive energy. Just try to be loving in the way that you communicate about it. Now, in regards to the challenges that you will face, if you are a single Cancer in the month of February, um, setting this is weird because it's like thinking about your long-term goals in regards to your life, but as a single person. Because it's like, okay, I don't want to be single forever, but I do want to own my own business. I do want to own my own home. I do want to this. I do want to do that. And it's like, so it's maybe challenging to manifest the person that you want into your life because you are working on figuring out what do I even want for my life. So then it's like, how could somebody fit in there, right? Um, and they say that the guidance on that is just kind of like leave it up to spirit. You think more about what you want on a day-to-day -day level. What do you want in regards to how much money do you want to make a year? Like a year from now, what kind of job do you want to be in? Five years from now, like that kind of thing. Put all that shit on a vision board and then spirit will just bring you the right person. Like just leave that part up to them for now, but you get really clear on what you want your life to look like, okay? Because that's like a crisis that some of you are having right now. In regards to couples... Coupled Cancers, what is your love life challenge going to be this month? And they're like, um, excuse me, interesting, frog in the throat. This card is about communication. It's got a frog here. Frogs indicate change, okay? And um, swords indicate communication and mental processes. Now, you want to you're intuitively like emotionally you know that things need to change in your relationship and become more calm and smooth and things like that and they totally will um but to communicate that it's going to be a little bit of a sticking point it's going to be a little bit challenged it's going to be kind of a a croaky thing right but ultimately you know both intuitively and mentally that this has to happen so what's your guidance on how to get through that conversation with your partner and it says um that you understand that things take time to grow and, you know, with patience and things like that, things can be even bigger and better than you ever expected. And the same is true with relationships, but it does take patience on both sides. And it seems like your partner might be a little impatient with you, right? Um, okay. 
So what is the vibe that you are putting out in relationships or, you know, to other people for single, single cancers that you're fun, that you like to party, that you're a good time? So people look at you and they're like, wow, I love hanging out with that person. But some people are looking at you and they see behind it or maybe you're like kind of moody, <laughs> like when you're out, like. You might be that girl at the bar, like, singing karaoke, and you're like, yeah, and then the next minute, like, somebody sings, like, a sad country song, and you're in tears, and they're like, whoa, whoa, that's intense. Not, like, Scorpio intense, but they're like, <gasps> right? And so, here's the weird thing, is that other water signs could come, like, rushing in, like, trying to console you and, and be there for you, but then you've got this self-reliant energy, and you don't know that you want it, but yes, I want it, but no, I don't want it. And so they're like, on an emotional level, like, you know, just go with the flow day to day because one day it could be all fun and fancy free. And then the next day, like, oh my gosh, I am feeling my feelings. But, but it's not actually bad for you to feel pain in February. And I know that sucks, but the reason why I'm saying that is because, um, we have a lot of pain and things that we've repressed that we need to work through in order to get like back on the right path and kind of like come back to this like stable, happy place. Okay. Now, for those of you who are coupled, how are, is your partner viewing you or how are others viewing you in regards to love? Not super connected to spirit, um, not super invested necessarily, but nothing to worry about. So, I mean, just kind of the same as always, you know, I wouldn't read too much into what I said as far as like not super invested. Like you're invested as you should be on a day-to-day -day level, as, as invested as you always are. Like you're not trying too hard in your relationship, but you're not trying too little either. It just is. It just is, <laughs> you know? Okay, so for single cancers, what's your um, item of reflection or like a goal for the month? And they're like being mindful of conflict. Again, that very root chakra, red energy. And so they're saying, um, you know, your goal is to become mindful that conflict is a choice. So, I mean, you could try to avoid it, but sometimes it might be necessary because we do have all this weird energy with things coming apart and needing to process our emotions. So you've got to think about... Like, okay, this is the, you have to take each conflict day by day. And I know that sounds like just very like stupid general advice, um, you know, that applies to any situation, but it actually doesn't. <laughs> For some people, some people can thrive in drama llama situations. Some people are um, confrontationalists and that works for them. And some people totally avoid their shit all the time and that works for them. But, but you're going to have to feel this out on a day to day basis. Like, if you're having struggles with a certain person or with a certain um, task or something like that, they're like, write it down. For you, journaling is going to be huge. If you can write down like the description of what's happening and then try to figure out where it went wrong, how somebody else might feel, how you feel, you can get to the root of it. And then in communication, only describe your own piece of it, okay? Because then the, it'll kind of just go the way that it's supposed to. And then it's not that much of like, am I going to choose my battles or not? It's chosen for you. In regards to those of you who are coupled, what's your goal or area of focus? And they're like looking at unfinished business. So with this one, it's like, think about one thing that you've kind of put on the back burner for a long time and just make it a point to finish it by the end of the month. If you've been meaning to, um, you know, organize a closet or whatever, this is going to be awesome because what's going to happen by completing that one thing is it boosts um, your own like internal healing. You're going to get, like, get in the flow and then it's going to open up your heart chakra. You're going to feel really good about yourself. The fact that you did it, probably your partner is going to feel like really proud of you too. Like, hey, look at you checking things off your list. Not to say that you're lazy because you're totally not. You just got other shit going on. But what it's saying is this experience is going to make you feel better as opposed to bitter because you beat yourself up when you don't get shit done. So instead of having a list of like 10 things that you partially do, focus on one of them, complete it in the month of February, and then like just see how you feel in March because you're going to feel a lot better, especially in regards to your relationship. So that's interesting. So it doesn't necessarily have to be relationship related, but it does play out in your relationship um, in a very positive way. Um, okay, so your personal growth and development in general, what does that look like for cancer in February? And they're like, um, like non-committal. That's interesting. Don't be like super committed 
to any certain way of doing things or like to starting new things. Whatever you've done in the past that kind of helps you to get through your emotional stuff um, or to get through like, you know, like your physical challenges or your mental challenges and strains, like your health in general, whatever's worked for you in the past that you enjoy doing, just do a little bit more of that. That works good for you. You know, if you like to take a walk, try to incorporate doing that um, at least six times during this month, that would be very helpful. Um, it'd make you very happy. It'd make you feel um, lighter. It'd like raise your vibration. You're going to feel a lot more childlike and have a little bit more joy, which is good when things are maybe not so easy for you in the month of February. Um, what are your specific challenges? And they say the challenge is that emotional balance and setting up um, big goals and dreams. Now, Cancer, it's um, really important for you to focus on like one big goal or dream for this year because the month is going to go very quickly and if you haven't done that uh this year might feel a little listless you might feel like you're kind of go coming and going and ebbing and flowing and you don't really have direction so like just think of one <laughs> even if it's huge even if it's something that sounds crazy like you might make fourteen thousand dollars a year but you're like you know what i want to buy a six million dollar mansion like Put it on a piece of paper, on a vision board, focus on that. And it doesn't matter how or when that's going to come to you, but just like focus on it. Focus on something that makes you happy, you know, something that if you had it, it would like make your heart swell. Focus on that and like really feel the feelings as if you had it now, because this will pay off for you um, throughout the year. It's going to help you to feel emotionally more balanced, even if you don't receive the entirety of what you're asking for this year. Okay. Now, um... What kind of vibes are you putting out there? That you can do it all yourself and you are confident. People put a lot of faith in you. It um, They almost view you kind of like a Virgo, like where you've, like you're so responsible, you've got your ducks in a row, like you know what you're doing, but then at the same time, like you're a little bit more fun than a Virgo maybe, like a little more charismatic, like that kind of a thing. But they're viewing you in very positive light. They see you as like a real go-getter. So, so that's that's nice, I guess. <laughs> but in the area of your personal growth and development. So maybe that's what that fear is about. Maybe you're afraid of letting people see you kind of vulnerable. Um, maybe you're afraid of letting people see you kind of fall apart. But they're like, don't. Don't be that way. Um, they said maybe some of you are afraid to invest love into something for fear of losing it or for fear of it not working out. So... That's rough. Your goal or area of focus in regards to your personal development is to be creative, okay? So what they're saying is, you know, this is kind of like what I was talking about with the unfinished business thing for the couple cancers where it's like you just get in the flow. Like if you start cleaning, that can actually be creative or gardening or painting or writing, whatever you do. When you feel that flow, that is actually spirit, like, pouring, like, love vibes through you, okay? Like, when you tune everything out and you're so focused on what you're doing, you're actually channeling whether you know it or not. And that is, that love and light energy is super healing. So the more that you can get into that flow, whether it's, like, because you run, it's a runner's high, or because you draw, or you make music, whatever it is that you do, however you express yourself creatively, super important. So they're, like... When you're doing this, when you're following that creative voice, like, now are you just, like, going with the flow and enjoying this and healing yourself from the inside out? Or are you criticizing yourself again? Because if you're criticizing yourself again, you're doing it wrong, you got to come back to that third eye chakra color, right? You, and go get back in the flow. Don't criticize yourself about what you're doing. Like, oh, you know, this painting, it turned out ugly or whatever. No, you love it because you put love into it and spirit poured love in through it. Okay, so even if you don't like the way it ended up, like you still needed to like endure that process. You needed to feel the joy in doing it. And if it ever becomes whatever you're doing, you know, especially if you're living your life purpose, like if you love what you do, if this is what you're put on the planet to do, if you're starting to not feel the love in that anymore, then maybe it's time for a little break. It's time for a day off. It's time to not work, you know, 12 hours in a day. So that's kind of where your message is. Now your crystal is um, apophyllite. 
Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be this color. This one's like a whitey peach. This is the one I pulled specifically for Cancer. So if you want this specific crystal, it's on my website. But um, if you don't, I mean, or if you're not even into crystals, whatever. But you can just go to your local rock store and get an apophyllite. It doesn't have to be um, the peach variety, but I would get a lighter color. I would get a yellow, an orange, a peach, or a white. Um, but specifically, if you could get like orange would be good because you have a lot of fear chakra shit going on. Okay, so the general use for this apophyllite type stone is going to be... Um, like for dream interpretation, it's going to help you to have like more vivid dreams and stuff. But as you're doing that, this is about self self discovery, and it's about just um like figuring out what you want, which is super super helpful for you. It's also about alleviating fear and then getting rid of feelings of of, of oppression, and um, it brings a lot of light to dark times or difficult times. And so a lot of you are kind of experiencing this. Like as I was talking about before, it's like some of you are going through a grieving process. And so this stone is gonna be very, very helpful for you, um, whether you get this specific one or if you get it you know, online from somebody else or you get it from your local rock store, maybe you go to Arkansas and dig one up, I don't know. But um, that would be the healing crystal that I would wanna work with if I were a Cancer in the month of February. Now, um, I don't know that every crystal video I ever made is on the crystals playlist on the website or on the, um, YouTube channel, but there are a few of them there. I don't release the ones I make for Patreon until like a year or so later. Um, but I do think there's at least two of them there that'll kind of show you how to use crystals should you obtain an apocalypse. So, um, by no means, that's not the only crystal that you should be working with, but specifically for what your situation is in the month of February, this is your crystal. So, love and light, and I can't wait to do your love reading in a couple weeks, and bye!